Hey everyone, welcome to the Tuesday, December 6th SIG release meeting. My name is Jeremy and I'll be the host today. Um, if anybody would like to volunteer to take notes, that would be super, super awesome. Oh, it looks like Joseph did. Thank you, Joseph. Um, myself, if anybody else wants to join in, never has, join me or not, I'll do it. All right, sounds good. Uh, just a reminder before we get going, this meeting is covered by the CNCF Code of Conduct, which can basically be summarized as uh, please be excellent to one another. Um, we'll kick this off by allowing anybody that's new to introduce themselves, but it looks like we've got a, a cast of familiar folks here. So we'll pause for just a second. I think everybody's been around before. So go ahead and we'll jump into subproject updates and we can start it off with release engineering. Marco, do you want to want to kick us off with and talk about the the Go update stuff? Mm, yeah. So okay, let me get started. Uh, first of all, as Jeremy just announced, Go updates are planned for today. Uh, those are going to be security patch releases for 1.18 and 1.19, and we are expecting those uh, releases today. We will after those releases are out, we will have more idea about what's exactly the vulnerability and for yeah what actions we need to take. Uh, we are, however, planning to do patch releases for Kubernetes 125, 124, 123, and 122 on Thursday. We intentionally delayed those patch releases for one day, so that th those are now on Thursday, so that we can include those Go patch releases that are coming out today. Uh, so uh, now that I said those for patch releases for Kubernetes, uh, those are coming out on Thursday, and we are also doing one hopefully final 122 release. It is going to include the registry change. It is also going to include one important regression fix that was introduced with latest security uh, fixes in Kubernetes. And also there's going to be etcd update because the etcd maintenance are recommending that update because of some data consistency issues that we have. Uh, that would be mostly it when it comes to releases. Uh, also, 126.0 is scheduled for Thursday. I will let it to release team to provide update regarding that, but it is also going to include the Go update that is coming out today. Uh, additionally, what I would like to uh, mention is some of the work that we did uh, over the past seven days. Uh, first of all, we managed to triage some stuff when it comes to image promotion. And we uh, we fixed some bug when it comes to the identity that is being used. So we are signing images with the correct identity. And we also uh, triage some more stuff and more issues that we have with uh, promotion. I summarized everything in the following thread. Uh, here is a link with Zoom. So if anyone interested want to take a look, free fail to do. If you want to help, please reach out to me and uh, Adolfo on release manager, and then we will be happy to sign and share if there is anything else that we know about this or to provide some pointers. Additionally, uh, some update about the open build service proof of concept that we were working on. We had a meeting with the SUSE team and on Wednesday, last Wednesday, and uh, we show them uh, how are we doing, what we came up so far, and it turns out that this is solid. They provided some feedback to us, and what's more important, we talked about scalability concerns that we had about uh, the traffic and all the other stuff, and there are some solutions to that. Uh, they think it should be fine, but even if you run into some problems, it is also possible for us to cost some mirrors and that should be pretty much straightforward. Uh, we are going to document all that as part of the CAP update that I'm working on. I hope that I will be able to finish it by the end of this week. If not, yeah, beginning of next week, uh, we will have it for sure. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to share in Zoom chat the meeting notes from our meeting for Wednesday, so you can also take a look at that if you're interested. Uh, I also see some links here in the meeting notes for this meeting, but this is not what I... I didn't like this one, so is there anyone else who wants to add something about it? Yeah, yeah so I, I added the first one, um, or I, I guess there's only um, one, the, the pull request. Uh, as part of the branch cut, we need to um, update the variants for the new release. So like the 126 release. So this PR does that. It doesn't include the Go changes. So I wanted to just have a quick chat. Um, Arno looked at it and asked if we wanted to merge it before or after your PR. Um, I'm in the process of updating the branch manager handbook to add that as a branch 
cut task because we didn't have it anymore. So it just didn't get done as part of that. And then um, there's another unrelated change that I'm working on in the in the handbook to change how we update the um, the publishing bot rules. There's like a script that does that so we can avoid copy and paste errors and stuff later on. So I have changes in the handbook that are ready to go. Um, but I wanted to link to an example PR for the, the variance update. So I was curious if you wanted to merge this PR to create the 126 variant for cube cross, and then we can rebase your PR on top of that to bump the Go version. Um, or do we want to wait until yours goes in and then we can do the, the 126 variant edition? Either way is fine with me, um, whichever is preferable to you. Yeah, I think it's going to be easier if you merge that PR down and then I rebase other PRs because uh, I think as we uh, as the cube cross image is published, we also need to update in in Kubernetes slash Kubernetes, yeah. and we can do that with the one PR, so it's going to be easier. So let's get it merged, and then we can. Uh, I will base my PR, and that's it. Okay, cool. And then I'll do the follow up KKPR to get the cube cross image version. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. No worries. And <laughs> Any other questions or topics for release engineering? Awesome. Thanks for all those updates and all the hard work to get to where we are today, Marco. Thank you so much. All right, we'll move on to release team now. Does anybody from the release team want to give an update? Hello, yeah, I can, I, I can give an update. Um, so from our side, everything right now looks kind of good. So we, as we already heard, we changed the release date. Um, we communicated this over uh, a lot of different channels. Um, the or original discussion was in release management. There was basically uh, Marco dropped or wrote the note about the Golang changes, and then we had uh, quite a lengthy discussion. And right, so we reached out over the co uh, to the community, to, so everybody is aware of that. Um, so hopefully, this uh, this goes well. Um, today, um, we also sent out over sick release um, a message about go or no go um, status updates from each team. Right now, everything looks good. Nobody is has like any big concerns. So probably. The only thing would now be the um, the version changes or the version um, bumps from Golang. So depending on that, um, all the other teams are kind of kind of in a good shape. So that's great. Um, we had yesterday um, a red status from dogs because there were two um, two dogs um, which were over quite a long time not merged, but this has been resolved and docs is. Um, done kind of uh, and and everything is good but I added uh, already a while back like a week or two weeks ago a note to the retro that we should discuss um, docs ready for reviewers the deadline because at the moment it's not really a deadline and it's kind of tiring to chase all the folks and um, maybe we can improve on that or it would be would be good to improve on that and also the sick docs um, chairs and folks agreed on this point. So um, besides that, comms is also looking good. We scheduled now all the blocks. There is currently a discussion up. I can link it in a second where we have the schedule about all the blocks. Um, we aim to have all the blocks released a week before the webinar. The webinar is scheduled on the 17th of January. Um, that's a Tuesday, I think. Um, so from the comms side, also everything good. I have also a couple of like journalists who are interested about the release. So I'm I'm in, in sync with them too. And right, then there's, I think the last point about the next team, the next release team. I don't know if, if Navarun wants to talk about this, but <laughs> uh, so the uh, 1.27 uh, release team gets also assembled right now. And, uh, I propose Xander as next release lead. Yay. <laughs> That's it from my side. And James, it's next next EA as well. <laughs> Yay. 
Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm excited to see all of the good things that the next release team will be up to. And thank you, Leo and Abrun, for your support on the 126 release. We're not there yet, but like I think we're in a pretty good spot. All right. Uh, we can move on to the open discussion items unless anybody has any comments or questions for the release team. All right, hearing none, it sounds like Leo, you have the next item too. You want to kick that off? Sure. Um, right. This one is about the um, release team enhancements tracking project board. So this release, we used the GitHub project board for the first time and we want to use it also next cycle. And right now we have basically two options to um, proceed with this. Either we reuse or use the existing project board. So this is, I think, like option one, which I wrote down. So reuse the existing enhancements project board next cycle and like add new views to it and so on or create a new project board um, so we have basically every cycle a new project board and the old one basically gets archived and yeah i just wanted to bring this up because maybe it's somewhat relevant or like a discuss the decision which is worth it to discuss in the meeting so I can, maybe I so should I just read out basically my minuses and question marks and pluses? Okay, so for for the <laughs> for the option one, reuse the existing uh, project boards. Um, so having multiple views is a bit a bit messy. So you have basically all the tabs, and you need to see okay um, where is one dot twenty six, where is one dot twenty seven, and so on. And we have multiple views, so it's basically every cycle a bunch of new views. Um, also, there might be, I'm not sure, might be limits from a GitHub that you only have like maybe thousand entries in a project board and eventually we will run out of um, out of uh, records basically. And also, um, we cannot have multiple uh, caps, for example, in the same project board. So if you, for example, postpone an issue to the next cycle, you'll a little bit lose the record that you also wanted to have it in maybe the cycle before. So if we have like the record of one or 26 and we postpone the cap, um, we need to update it and we kind of lose a little bit the record. So it's maybe it's just a little bit messy. And option two, um, basically it's a little bit cleaner. So it's a clean cut, um, but we need to du du uh, duplicate the enhancement project board. And at the moment there's no automation to it. So we manually need to click it up or maybe build a new tool to duplicate the project board. So, um, but I wanted to kick this off because this is important for the next release because enhancement starts before the cycle even. So we should get this resolved hopefully soon. Never hey, um, so uh, carrying forward the conversation that we had, um, so there are uh, multiple reasons we may need to just bite the bullet right now in copying over things and use a new board. Uh, the reason is, if we look at history, uh, the enhancements tracking spreadsheets were also used some kind of an archive of like what went in a release. If we can, if we keep on using the same project board, we lose that uh, feature and. I know that a lot of uh, vendors use our enhancements tracking sheets to even like track product features, um, as in what needs to get done. Um, that's one thing. Um, so we will lose archival uh, functionality if we continue using the same project. But and I do agree with your point that uh, thinking of the evolution of a cap, uh, it will be in alpha one in one release, it will be in beta in another, and stable in some other release. We can't track that evolution in the same board because the issue can be there only once. Um, the other thing is, even if let's say we try to archive in some way um, history in the same project board, the issue is we will have like a lot of different kinds of views and it may get cluttered. 
uh, over time and over releases. And just some information on the automation part. I am in touch with the GitHub PMs uh, on project board on behalf of the GitHub admin team um, to essentially like ask them like what's in the roadmap and give them feedback of what we need and felt lacking in GitHub new projects. Um, but I would not really hope that this would yield results in the short term and uh, result in anything for 1.27 or maybe even 1.28. Uh, this will be probably a six month kind of timeline thing. Thinking very pragmatically here, uh, but just as a point of information. Um, that's all James, I James, you want to go next? Sure. I was just going to ask, um, does the GitHub API support everything we would need to build a tool to do the copying? I appreciate we couldn't we couldn't build such a thing in time for 127 anyway, but are the API calls even there? Yeah, so I called it out uh, with the GitHub folks that you don't have a complete API yet for the new project boards, mm. and that's a big blocker. Um, so in the GitHub admin team, we have been thinking of automating project permissions as well. But there's no API endpoint for doing this. Right. There are some GraphQL endpoints, but only to mutate view columns and add issues. So Priyanka had worked basically on that script, which would run periodically, see milestone enhancement issues, and then add it to the board. That's the only level of automation we have. And the GitHub GraphQL API is capable of doing Yeah, okay. I think that's that's for a future good. Like, uh, I mean, if you already told this to GitHub folks, it's it's great. But the API side is it's kind of like a big block as you already. I think also in different like other projects as well. So. Yeah. Okay, so it kind of sounds like. A new board is the consensus between the the stuff from the chat and just what we've discussed so far. Does anybody have any dissenting opinion on that? All right, sounds like not. So sounds like we'll take that as the action going forward. Uh, loop Xander and uh, Mark in for that since they're not here. Cool. Um, any other open discussion topics? Otherwise, I'm inclined to, oh, go ahead. Those are the topics of the action item. Are we assigning to anybody to take action for review for comment? What's the clear action item on this? Um, we probably should make a GitHub issue to track it just so that it gets done and see release for 120 and tag it with the 127 milestone. And we can assign Xander and James and uh, Mark Rossetti. Yeah, this would involve a lot of doc documentation changes on enhancements processes. Yeah. Good to have a tracking issue so we can have all the subtasks tracked. <laughs> Leo, do you want to take uh, the action to create that item and assign yep. it to them? Yep. <coughs> okay, that'd be really awesome, thanks. All right, any other topics? All right, not hearing any, I'm gonna selfishly end the meeting early so I can go and not talk anymore. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to reach out on the SIG release Slack channel. And uh, good luck to everybody that's cutting releases this week. It's gonna be exciting on Thursday. Busy week, busy week, yeah, busy week. Feel better, Jeremy. Thanks. I feel better. Right. See you later, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.